I truly believe everybody's creative. When were we most creative in our lives? All of us. We were kids, right? I spoke at Craft Canada one day, and I had a guy say, when I was dating. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. No, no, no. <laughs> it's when we were kids, right? So it didn't just fall off. I mean, it's there inside every one of us. And what we're going to talk about today is how do you access that natural creativity and use it to your advantage every single day? You know, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. If I walk around all day saying, nobody likes me, nobody likes me, what happens? Nobody likes me. If I walk around all day saying, I'm not creative, I'm just not the creative type, guess what? <laughs> You're not. So the first step is telling yourself you are one of the most creative people you know. How many people have ever heard of the 21 day rule? 21 days to do something. What am I talking about? Just yell it out. Yeah, 21 days to make, break, or change a habit. Many years ago, AA said, if you could stop drinking for 21 days, you wouldn't break the habit, but you get over the first hurdle. So it was translated to mean 21 days to make, break, or change any habit. One of my simple goals for today is this. If I could get you to go back and look at your organization and ask yourself, what is it that we do that's strictly habitual? What do we do just because that's the way I've always done it? You're already being more cre creative by questioning the norm. See, we do this all the time. We do things out of habit and we don't realize it until we start to question it. Oh, I'll prove it to you. We've got such a big group. This should be fun. If you're wearing a watch, would you all take it off and hold it up, please? Come on, take off your watches. I want to see them. As quickly as you can, those with your watch up, I want you to put it back on the other arm. I know you don't want to. I know it's uncomfortable. Please appease me. And by the way, it's the only team building portion of my talk. <laughs> if you're having trouble doing this, it's okay to ask somebody beside you for help, okay? And how awkward is that? When did it gain about a pound from one arm to the other, right? But here's my challenge. Until you go to bed tonight, I'm going to ask you to force yourself to wear this watch on your other arm. As uncomfortable as this is, every time you go to look at the time today, I want you to ask yourself, what else do I do that's strictly a habit? That's all this is. I mean, if for the next 21 days or so, you consciously put this watch on your other arm, after 21 days, it would start to feel comfortable. The things I want to share with you this morning are not going to feel comfortable. Being more creative means not feeling comfortable. The changes you're going through in the HR profession can't possibly feel comfortable, but 21 days of trying something new to see if it doesn't feel more comfortable to you. Perspective. It's a different perspective of the exact same situation that you all saw. That's what being creative in HR today is all about. Are you willing, after all these years, to be able to say, you know what, maybe there's another perspective? Yeah, there's a great saying in sales training, and I'm not here to do sales training by any means, but I think it's so apropos to what you do every day. If you see the world through your customer's eyes, you'll see the way your customer buys. Not in selling something, but how about just managing change, on, on, on getting change through the organization. See the world through your customer's eyes and see the way your customer buys. But perspective is a scary thing. We work with somebody for years and we think we know their perspective. And one day it changes instantly. And we're sitting there saying to ourselves, whoa, what's the matter with him? Whoa, what's the matter with her? When we should be saying, whoa, what's the matter with me? Why? Because if I'm constantly checking in with you to see what is it that will increase the value specific to you at any given moment, I'm never surprised that your perspective can, has changed.